Okay, uh, for this challenge here, it's called Parting Clouds. Again, this is part of Khan Academy's uh, JavaScript unit and the animations. So as you can see here, um, what we're looking to do here, we're going to be creating an animation that almost looks like the start of The Simpsons, like where the clouds separate and the sun uh, gets larger. So when you're looking here at the directions, it says in this challenge, you'll use your magical programming powers to create a cloudy sky and then animate it into a bright and sunny sky. Start off by changing the position of the clouds so that they cover the sun, but still let a little sun peek out. You can see the hint. It says try changing the value of the left x and right x variables. You guys can see this. So what's going on here? Uh, they have distinguished the left side of the clouds using the left x. So what you're going to do up here in the variable section, we're just going to cover a part of the sun here with these left x or the left clouds. And then we're going to do the same thing here with these right clouds. I'm just going to slide those over using my number scrubber to cloud a part of this, close a part of the sun. And you guys could see our little character said, oh, amazing, great job. So we can now go into step two. So now that step one is done, let's take a look here at step two. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be animating these clouds so that they separate, pulling them apart, pulling them away from the sun. So it says the clouds are hiding the sun now, and we want to animate them moving in opposite directions from it. It says make it so that the left cloud, this one right here, moves one pixel to the left. So we're going to be sending the left clouds this way across the canvas. And the right cloud moves one pixel to the right. So our right clouds are our right X. We're going to be moving them to the right. Remember, you can click the restart to rerun your program. Remember right here is our restart. <clears throat> and our hint, it says use the shortcuts you learned in the last two talkthroughs to add or subtract to the left X and right X variables. So remember, guys, we are animating the variables. Okay, and the variables that we're animating here are our left X and our right X. Okay, so let's take a quick look at these. So uh, I'm going to come down here to row, let's say, 23, and I'm going to put an animation in. So I'm going to start off here with our left X variable or our left cloud. And I know that they're going to be a minus equals because they are decreasing in value. Because remember, our, 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 our canvas is broken down into pixels, 0 over here on the left side, 400 over here on the right side for our X axis. So I'm going to start off with um, left X. Again, this is distinguishing our left side of the clouds. Minus equals, and let's say 2. I'm going to move it a little bit faster. I say left X minus equals 2 semicolon. And there you go. You can see my left side of the clouds move. Okay, pretty cool. So now let's do the same thing to our right. So obviously, again, you can look up here at our hint. But so now I'm going to say right X. And again, remember, these X's, they've identified with capital letters. So make sure you have capital letters down here as well. So right X, and we're going to use a plus equals. I'm going to say 2 as well, semicolon. So now when I hit my restart, there we go. And now you guys can see, if you ever get one of these little mistakes up here, I wanted to show you this because it's saying, oh, wow, you made a mistake. It says, make sure you're only incrementing and decre decrementing by one pixel. You don't want the clouds moving too fast. So what I did, I put a two here. So I got to bring that down to a one for the left side and one for the right side. You'll notice that little warning went away. So uh, my mistake is correct. I can restart it. You can see they move a little bit slower. And now I can go to my next step. Again, guys, remember, we're, we're always looking for ways that we could problem solve. And they gave us that little hint there to identify our mistake. Okay, so for our third and final step, it says, let's make it so the clouds are running away from the sun that's getting bigger and bigger. It says, increment the sun radius by two pixels in each frame. So this time I want to make the sun get bigger by two pixels. Okay, and you can see our little hint here. And this time I'm going to put our animation right here. Uh, I'm going to hit my enter key. I'm going to put it right here in row 12. So I'm going to say, or excuse me, on row 11. I'm going to say sun radius. That's our variable. And we're using a plus equals because it's getting bigger. And they said use two pixels. So cool. And you can see our sun get bigger. Now, when I hit my restart, you're going to see it all work at once. So the clouds are going away in opposite directions at one pixel. 
at a time. Again, our left x is a minus equal to 1. Our right x is a plus equals 1. So it's separating by one pixel at a time. And then our sun radius, the sun, is getting bigger and bigger by two pixels at a time. And there you go. That's all it is. Hopefully you enjoy that. And if you ever have any questions, please let me know. Take care, guys.